Amanda Freyheit, Superintendent of Pine City Public Schools, and this is my second year as Superintendent of our school district. I would like to introduce you to our school board. You can see their picture behind me. We have um, Alicia Ashman, Wally Conacher, who is our clerk, Tim Geisler, our vice, vice chair, Dan Peterson in the back row, second person there, is our chair. Wendy Leibel is another board member. Candace Aim, excuse me, Candace Ames. Um, myself and our newest member, Dr. Lisa Nas Tollefson, who was sworn in at our board meeting on Monday night. Our board meetings are held on the second Monday each month. There is an agenda that is put together prior to the board meeting. Here's what one of our agendas looks like. We start our meetings out with our roll call and pledge of allegiance as we normally would do. There's also a portion of the meeting called public forum, which is an opportunity for anybody in our community to come forth and share any um, concerns, highlights, anything that they would like to uh, address the board with. Then our board also goes through um, approval of the agenda. And then each board meeting, we try to have some positive happenings. So what are those good things going on in our district? So for example, this time we talked about um, the finance award recognition that was given to our district um, from the Minnesota Department of Education. And this award is given to us because we have kept very good records. We have turned in all of our um, submissions on time and we keep strong fiscal health. So I wanna credit Jill Nolan, our business manager, for making sure that our district is remaining in fiscal health. Um, Diana Fetter talked about our senior class trip and Carrie Haas gave us an update in regards to the ALC or Area Learning Center program. At every board meeting, we always go through and have a consent agenda, which just covers all of our minutes, bills, electronic fund transfers, employment, donations, etc. And then our board has several action items that they need to take um, and approve the motions. For instance, some of them are our treasurer's report. We also had four retirements of staff this year. I would like to commend Beth Linsmeyer for her 20, or excuse me, 33 years of employment. Um, Lisa Johnson was in our district for 24 and a half years. Catherine Olson for 34 years, and um, Diane Egglestead for 20 years. So we wish them well in retirement and thank them for their many years of service here at Pine City Public Schools. The 2018-19 class trip for our seniors was approved. And we also approved our 2018-19 school calendar. And in that calendar, you'll see our spring break is scheduled, also any holiday breaks and things like that. Something new this year that we're gonna be trying in 2018-19 are student interview and assessment conferences at the elementary for grades K through six. Mrs. Lorison, our principal, will be sending out more information with details and, and, and more information with regards to that for our elementary parents. Um, on the board meetings in which we have board policies that are getting approved, I usually put together a presentation and a video cast that explains those board policies that they are reviewing. Um, and then at the close of the meetings, we always have our administrative reports, which is a good time for our board to hear about the great things that are happening in all of the areas of our district, from the high school, elementary, community education, and early childhood, our teaching and learning department, um, business and finance, athletics, buildings and grounds, and our food and nutrition services programs. And then if there are any board committee reports, um, that's also highlighted there. And then we also review our enrollment data for the school year. Um, and then um, adjourn the meeting. So uh, thank you very much and look forward to our next time we meet. <laughs>